Automation in Sample Tank 4 is a snap. It's implemented really elegantly. Now I've got a synth lead sound loaded in here and here's a little part with some simple accompaniment. Almost any parameter in Sample Tank 4 is automatable. For example, let's say I want to automate some filter cutoff and resonance. I can do that easily. And if I want to automate macros, I can do that as well. So if I wanted to assign, for example, both of these parameters to the same macro, I could then automate the macro and have it affect both at once. Let's get to the basics, though. I'm going to right-click on the frequency knob for the cutoff and just go automate. And boom, that's all you have to do. An automation assignment is now created. If I look in this automation assignments window, we'll see the first available assignment or host Automation assignment number has been assigned now to part one, element one, zone one, filter frequency. And I'm going to hit close and now assign this one. Automate and then go automation assignments. We'll see that it's now assigned to filter resonance. I'm going to close that. And we have a dedicated button in the interface here to bring up that automation assignment window so we can see them all here. And there's as many as you could possibly need available. So now that that's done, I can automate within my DAW the way you do in whatever DAW you're using. I'm using Logic Pro X, and I'll just show you quickly the automation menu here. So if we go to Sample Tank, we'll see all those available parameters. And of course, at the top of the list, we're going to find the ones that we just assigned. Let's assign some frequency to the filter. And now if I play it back, we'll see that move. And I can add another automation lane, and this time I'll automate the next parameter that I've assigned. So under sample tank, there's the filter resonance. And let's have this maybe scoop up a bit more gradually like that. And we can automate parameters in the effects as well. For example, maybe I'm going to go to here. I'll just bring it up from this button over here. And maybe I want to automate the dry wet on the delay. Right click, automate. I don't even need to look here. I can just go to my DAW and it'll be available. Sample tank. There's the new parameter that we just automated. I'll just try drawing some random automation. Let's try that. And it's as simple as that. And the automation is now stored within your project, within your DAW. And next time you open it, it'll remember it. So there's not much more to show than that. We have all the assignments here. We right click, manage the automation assignments, and can call up the window to view them if we need to. See you for more in the next video.